feel like I'm the CEO of dressing like a boy. <laughs> I think I'm the CEO of catfish. <laughs> Today we'll be doing something that is very overdue. Um, we'll be going through and decluttering our wardrobes, reorganizing everything and rearranging everything. Give you a little wardrobe closet tour as well while we're at it. Yeah, because I think since moving out, we haven't actually done like a closet tour or like gone through our closet and showed you guys. And we have a lot of clothes that are sitting in our wardrobe that we don't wear anymore and just haven't gone through. But yeah, before we do get into this video though, we just want to quickly touch on something. As we've done in the past, which most of you guys might know you might not but we normally would sell a lot of our clothes to you guys on like a pre-loved website and you guys seem to love it it always sells out so well we're still gonna do that because there's so many clothes that we're gonna get rid of uh, we're gonna sell some to you guys and all the money will go to the fires that's been happening in Australia which I'm sure you may have heard about and um, there will also be bags that will be going to charity as well yeah so as a lot of you guys might or might not know but there has been fires going on for months now in Australia and we just got to the point where we did didn't like just you know sitting around and feeling like we weren't doing enough you know just reposting things on Instagram like we actually really wanted to like go out of our way and do something and we thought it was a great idea to give the money that we make from selling our old clothes to the fires that way you guys can benefit out of it as well so you know you guys can buy clothes that you genuinely like and that's in really good condition and get something really out of affordable. it and then the money's just gonna go to something more in need than us yeah. that's not trying to entice you to buy anything because it normally sells out really easily anyways so yeah and we're not really getting any, anything out of it yeah we just thought we would say that if you don't actually buy any clothes but you still want to donate we'll leave links below we hope you guys enjoy this video let's get straight into it because we have so many clothes we need to go through we're gonna Let's start begin. With, are we starting with your bedroom? Yeah, we'll start with my bedroom. So before we get into it, I'll give you guys a quick little tour of what my actual wardrobe looks like. Because I have got the master bedroom. <laughs> you always have to chuck that in it, don't you? It is quite a big wardrobe, but we do store a lot of stuff in it as well, not just clothes. And we're going to be bagging everything in bags that are environmentally friendly. They're compostable bags. This side is kind of just like all my clothes that I use. So dresses, tops, shorts, skirts, jeans, trackies and random pants, pajamas, and then the bottom drawers swimmers. It's so messy. Like it's really messy and I don't wear like probably 95% of the stuff. So and then my second is, and then here's just like a lot of jumpers and tees. And again, I don't really wear 95% of it, but we'll go through that today. And then more jumpers and coats and stuff for winter. That's all my shoes. And then this side is hats, gym shoes and stuff, bags, and then all my gym clothes in here. Let's get bagging. No, let's not say that. <laughs> <laughs> let's get decluttering. All right, so we're about to just go through Olivia's clothes there and start bagging the stuff that... Are we going to separate into like two piles? Yeah, we'll separate into keep and then get rid of. And we're going to be listening to some tunes, our playlist. Yes, so our friend. She has this playlist on Spotify and it's like the best playlist. of the pile of stuff we're getting rid of compared to the stuff we're keeping. That, that little is all sack my is keeping. so far what we're keeping compared to this pile. Stay tuned on MeshaTwins.com and you can snag some awesome little clothes. <laughs> Seriously, half it's, of the stuff is just like never worn. Guys, like, like good it's quality, so, so decent. Like I'm not just saying that so you guys can get it, but like, you know, rather than going out to the shops and buying a brand new thing that's like 60 bucks, we literally have this stuff up for like $20 and it's like worn once in perfect condition. No, we're helping save the what? planet. So, oh my god, I literally have never seen this skirt in my life. What the heck? I don't either. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you hiding? So I'll just quickly show you guys what we've done so far, but we've gone through my top three shelves. And it's looking so much neater and empty. That's so far everything we're getting rid of. Okay, we 
we got sidetracked. Now we're doing tracksuits and I'll probably keep all my tracksuits except that pair because that's gross. But I wanted to show you guys these pants because I don't know whether to keep them or not. They're like these big corduroy purple pants and we bought them in LA from Brandy Melville last year. last year and we bought them because I was supposed to wear them to like a festival and I just like thought they would look so cool at a festival and I just never got the chance to wear them so I've never worn them before and I probably wouldn't wear them out on the street so like I really want to keep them because they would so be so cool at a festival but then I just don't think I'll ever wear them so I'm like I don't know whether to get rid of them or not <laughs> Like, they're kind of cool, right? Like, Afro Festival or something? Mm. They're sick. No, I can't really answer that question for you, so... Let's just hold on to them. So like, put these clothes the into two bags. bags. Oh, oh my god, what was that? What was that? So we have now transferred to my bedroom so we can go through my wardrobe. As you can see, my wardrobe is only half the size of Olivia's. So I've got oh, a lot more. Really? Like, I. Yes. Well, it's just the middle part that bi that's big. You've got way you've got, more cupboards. You've got the same drawers and stuff as me. Like, no, I've got, you've got double of those white things. Oh, yeah, cheer. There we Plus are. the thing. So, yeah, I've got a lot more clothes jammed, and I get to the point where it's just literally overflowing. Olivia, if you move. Originally, when I first moved in here, I had it all organized in like tops, shorts, winter bottoms, but now it's just like there's no organization at all. It's just like wherever it can fit, it goes. So, no, it's raining outside. Rain! Let's get straight into it. I don't even know where um, to start. I think I might start at the top to be like, honest. Like, you can't even open that. Oh, time. <laughs> <laughs> we bought these coat hangers from Ikea like back when we first moved in and they're so loud. Like, because they're like metal or something, aren't they? Like, every time I'm in my cupboard, they're just, yeah, they're just not even it's dumb. Just it's really it's frustrating. You remember, like, in, shush. you remember in primary school when you used to get them triangles and you used to do the, you've got to do like the, ting. that. Oh, you got the same dress. <laughs> no, it's yours. <laughs> I just looked at this dress and I was like, because I literally just chucked it in my get rid of pile in my room. And then they said to you, oh, I'm keeping that. And I was like, oh, you've got the same dress as me. She's like, it's mine. This one, do you want to get rid of it? No, no. That's cute. That is a cute jumper. Because I'm from my lake. Can you shush? <laughs> <laughs> I literally just emptied probably 70% of that stuff. Do I keep this as a jacket or not? No. I think we should go through this now. Oh my god, you have so much stuff. Oh, I'm sorry I don't have the master bedroom. You have more clothes in your wardrobe than me. Whether you have, I have a bigger one. Oh, shush! <laughs> <laughs> they won't stop talking. <laughs> literally don't wear 98% of this stuff. Mamma mia! These are way too big for my waist. Um, are you asking for my approval? No, I'm just checking what I don't like. Okay, well, ask for my approval. Yes or no? No. Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> like that. Looks like Mike um, was asking. It's really, really cute. I like it. Like that. We just empty that pile, guys, and like, it's even bigger than Olivia's pile it's of clothes. It's so like, big. Don't even know how we're going to be able to get all that up on our website. But we will, so www.meshtwins.com. Alright guys, so so far that is our bags that we're giving to charity, but it will probably increase because we have a lot more that we will put in that pile. And then this is pretty much nearly everything that we will be selling to you guys. And it is a big pile, like that's actually, huge. Like, Liggy, it's insanely big. <laughs> like I actually think it's probably about 75% of the stuff that we pulled from the wardrobe. So we'll be busy at work for the next few days putting that all up on the website. But so many people ask us what website we're talking about and it's just www.meshtwins.com twins.com and basically it's just where you can go and we we just like sell all of our old clothes kind of like a depop but just our own little website and it is only available to australia because shipping is just too expensive and not really worth the, these clothes <coughs> oh god that's the gist so i thought i'd show you guys what my wardrobe looks like now once it's been all tidied up and gone through so i fixed up all my teas hung all my teas up and my jumpers and i also kind of color coordinated my t-shirts so I have my whites first, and then it goes into my yellow, my reds, my blues, then my blacks. 
love that and then down here if you guys remember that was an absolute mountain and now it's like so organized like this is my bottom drawer winter bottoms summer bottoms actually that's just summer denim this is with summer bottoms like skirts and shorts and then all my t-shirts and stuff in there what have we started i know you know when you start something you just can't be bothered to finish it <sighs> Anyways, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. So we've gone through both wardrobe and that's our mess still. We've got to go through it all. Pretty much over the weekend, we will be putting all them clothes up on our website so we can try and get them out to you guys as soon that's as possible. It's going to take so long. Too. Those ba the ones that are in the bags will go just straight to like donations because they're not probably good enough to sell for money, you know? Oh, um, they are, but like we've just got so We've much. just got so many to sell that like it doesn't need to be sold, you know? Also guys, we've been really thinking, we kind of want to do a video where we go like thrifting again or like take you guys vintage shopping with us because because vintage clothes is like one of our favorite things to shop for and like we love our oversized tees. You guys are always jamming us like where do you get your oversized tees from, like things like that. So I just think it'd be really cool to do like a video on it. So like let us know. thrifting, come thrifting Yeah, with kind us. of like come thrifting and vintage shopping with us where we get our vintage clothes from and how we style it and all that stuff if you guys would be interested in that sort of video let us know now that we've emptied like 80% of how you on now that we've emptied like 80% of our wardrobe I feel like I just want to go on a massive shopping spree and just fill my wardrobe up <laughs> yeah well not necessarily that but just like I feel like I need a few other things just to you know just basics or not even basics but just like some good clothes mm, just some fresh stuff all right what is it next clip Alright guys, we just wanted to quickly outro this video just before we go to the gym. But we hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed us, I don't know, just going through our clothes and showing you guys our new wardrobe considering the last time we did one, it was our old house. And um, as you can tell behind here, we already have some of the clothes set up and all the bags which will be going to like charity or foundation or whoever needs them. And we do have a lot of clothes to get through so they probably aren't up on the website yet but make sure to stay tuned in our Instagram because we'll be announcing when they're going live yeah, on our website. We'll definitely, yeah. And they will be going live in batches probably because there's just so much. So yeah, stay tuned on our Instagram and we will announce that then. And that's pretty much it for this video. So follow us on all our other social medias and make sure to subscribe because we upload every week and see you guys in the next video.